was born in Peru, I lived in New York for many years. Uh, my base is New York City, but I do travel everywhere. And I said, it, so my work really gets exhibited globally in Asia, Europe, the States, and it's, uh, it might be uh, private commissions, it might be exhibitions in museums, all my Asian trip this uh, time is going to be all in museums, for example. And uh, so it varies. And uh, but talking about economically and poverty, I think art is just very, very, very important. I don't know what we all would do if we don't have art in our lives somehow, somewhere. So uh, it does help us. And I, uh, perhaps uh, you know, my presentation uh, is, is specifically more about the commissions that I do, and they are. Uh, lately, I have been doing it quite a lot because um, I'm Latin. I'm a woman. And I do very large commissions with very big large productions. I am from Peru. I um, I have come from different uh, governments. You know, uh, when I was growing up, I was in Velasco. It was a military government, and then uh, from them we have had a lot of generations uh, who have been in power. People have been in power. Uh, I'm sure that you all knew about our famous Japanese, you know, President Fujimori, that now is serving a sentence for 25 years. Her daughter, you know, just ran for uh, to become a president, and but loved by very, very little by Umalo, Janta Umalo, which is now in power in Peru. And um, Peru is now in amazing renaissance by by every sense in the you know uh, the arts, economically, infrastructure, uh, but it's definitely changing and it's changing quite a lot. For you, for all of you that you know, that you have not been there, but are thinking, I would definitely not have any doubts in my mind, and I would definitely make an effort and go, because you don't know when this opportunity is going to be coming again. And my work is very much inspired, you know, um, in Peru, uh, in Lady Titicaca, in the Uros, which is um, the only uh, indigenous uh, people that they live and they speak Quechua and the Aymara in this region. In my work, uh, there's a lot, a lot of business involved. Once you are, um, well, quote, uh, doing well as an artist, uh, there is uh, the famous word where it's the budget. The, it's very important according uh, the budget that you're receiving from people that are commissioned the work, what you're going to be you know, producing, and you have to manage yourself to be able to uh, make the work fit into the parameters of the budget that they're giving you. Yes. They are, it's very, very short, it's two minutes. None of the videos are longer than that because nowadays well, we have so much information and so many things to do. Oh, okay. This is what, what you're going to be seeing is just details of the piece. Uh, this was, uh, all the work was very specific. They usually send me, either they fly me sometimes to the location or they send me everything in detail cut and as you see this one this one has you know for me it's called Uros Island and because it you see the bench that is on the image but you're not the water a certain month in Venice it goes all the way up there so um, all the 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 brain of the electronics of the hardware is inside you know the, the bubbles so everything is waterproof but the, um, the graders, they make like a base that normally in Venice, before it gets floated, they get, they get like a, maybe like five, six hours, and sirens all over the city, so people can still move things around. Which I told the grader, please, no, you should not do that. You should let the peace flow, and it would be like a wonderful parallel for, with Peru and Venice, you know, but being an island as well. So this is a piece that I did for Times Square in collaboration with um, the Armory, I don't know if you have, uh, talking about commerce and business, in the art fair, there's a very well-known uh, art fair called the Armory Show, that is actually just passed. Uh, last year was uh, the first time that the Armory had a collaboration with the Times Alliance, and I did a, I was very lucky to uh, win the competition. Uh, I the panel thought that it was a very interesting uh, way of putting the Uros house, you know, in that 